For years, allegations of sexual assault have swirled around Peter Nygaard. Now he's convicted. This is a battle won in a much bigger war. Therapist Shannon Maroney has worked with dozens of women who've made allegations against Nygaard, including four involved in this case. She shared reaction from one. The verdict is not only for her, the guilty verdict, or for anyone else, but it is shared across all survivors, all women and girls. We did this for everyone, not only for ourselves. Nygaard was found guilty on four or five counts of sexual assault. Many of the allegations in this case stretch back decades and were only recently reported to police. Many of the women told similar stories of meeting Nygaard by chance at a party or on a plane before they were assaulted in a private bedroom suite inside his Toronto headquarters. They didn't report it because they feared Nygaard would ruin their career. The Crown painted Nygaard as a predator who used his power and wealth to lure and abuse women. This is a crime that typically happens in private and profoundly impacts human dignity. To stand up and recount those indignities in a public forum such as a courtroom is never easy and takes great courage. Nygaard's son Kai says he raised suspicions about his father's behaviour years ago and was in the courtroom when the verdict was read. I loved my father. It hurts me to see all of these things. I knew a different man, but when you get the reveal that there is another person, there's another personality within there, there's something evil in there, there's something perverse, there's something sick. Nygaard, who testified in his own defense, didn't appear to react to the verdict. His lawyer says he's considering whether to appeal. As you've all seen, Mr. Nygaard is, uh, is frail, has uh, numerous health challenges. Nygaard left court Sunday hunched in the back of a police van, a black parka obscuring most of his face, a shadow of the man who for years was one of the most powerful men in global fashion. And Jamie, what's next for Peter Nygaard? Uh, Ian, still a long uh, legal road ahead for Peter Nygaard beyond this case here in Ontario, facing criminal charges in Manitoba, Quebec, and in New York State. Beyond those criminal charges, also facing a civil suit in the United States involving dozens of women and allegations going back to the 1970s. Ian? Jamie's thrashing outside the Toronto courthouse where the Nygaard trial took place.